if we want to have users for our Cisco routers and switches, what we could do is have local users. To create local users, we can simply go into the command line interface and using the username command, set up users along with passwords and we can even give different privilege levels. And that might be a good approach if we just have a few devices to manage. But for larger enterprise networks, that really doesn't scale very well. True story, when I went to work down at Walt Disney World in Florida, my first week on the job, they gave me a username and a password that allowed me to access hundreds of Cisco network devices. And obviously, somebody didn't go to each device and add an account for me, or they didn't just want to give me the enable secret password to get to everything. Because when you've got a large enterprise like that, and you have employee turnover, you don't want to give out the enable secret password. You want everybody to have their own account, and you want to be able to create it just one time. So what they did at Walt Disney World was, for their big network, they added an account for me on their AAA server. AAA, that stands for Authentication, Authorization, and Accounting. Let's talk about the three A's of AAA. First of all, authentication is all about proving we are who we claim to be, giving our credentials, like a username and a password combination. And this AAA server, in addition to having user accounts where we can authenticate ourselves, it can have authorization levels set. It can dictate what we have permission to do. That's the authorization component of AAA. And finally, accounting. That keeps an audit log of what we did do. Again, authentication is about proving you are who you claim to be. Authorization is saying what you can do. And accounting is saying what did you do. And there are different types of AAA servers. The two main types we have are Radius servers and TACX Plus servers. Let's do sort of a side-by-side -side comparison of those. Radius uses UDP at layer 4, while TACX Plus uses TCP at layer 4. Another distinction is that Radius is only going to encrypt the password as we're doing our authentication. However, TACX Plus is going to be able to encrypt the entire packet. Another difference is Radius actually has a little better accounting than TACX Plus, and if accounting is your main reason for having a AAA server, you might want to consider Radius. Another consideration is that Radius is standards-based while TACX Plus, that's a Cisco proprietary version of TACX, so TACX Plus is Cisco proprietary. But whichever AAA solution you might decide to go with, the big benefit is we get to create user accounts one time and then the routers and the switches, instead of going into those devices and individually creating lots of user accounts, we can just tell them to point to this external AAA server. That's going to enhance the security of our network by not giving out an enable secret to everybody, and it's going to make it more manageable because we we don't have to go to every device and create a user account on every device.